Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL accounting system tutorial, I'll talk about non 12 months profit and loss statement setting. Let's go to SQL. Normally, all PL is based on 12 month basis and it is referred to tools, option, general ledger, the financial start period that you set. Example over here, you set January meaning that all your financial year is January until December, January until December. Under special circumstances such as this is your first year of incorporation, your first financial year may not be 12 months, it may be less than 12 months or more than 12 months. So then you may have problems when you're viewing your PL. Because when you go to GL, print profit and loss, there's only one date. You are not able to set from when to when. So in this case, let's say when you want to view your PL as at let's say 31st 032018. Because your first year of financial is from January 2017 until 31st of March 2018, more than 12 months. And your PNL will be wrong because to the system, if you set like this, then your PNL will be from January 2018 until March 2018. That is wrong. So to solve these problems, what you need to do is let's say I make use of this year two column, the format. I need to drag this to your desktop and drag it. In again so why I need to this do this is because I want to do setting or so-called customize the setting for this document after you drag in you can see that this is in blue color meaning that in blue color I can customize so how to do that double click on this format then you can do changing you can do changes for this so report name, I don't want this year two column. I want to set it as 01 January 017 till 31st March 2018 PNL. Okay, and over here period class, click on it. Instead of current year, you scroll down, click on fixed date. With this, you can fix any date that you want. For me, I want to set 01012017 until the first 03218. That is more than 12 months. Okay. So with this setting, sorry, with this setting, the PNL will actually from 1st of January 2017 until 31st of March 2018. Now, do you every year need to do this changing? No need. Okay, what you need to do is after the first year audit, then you should do one time year end. Normally, we always say that in SQL, we do not need to do year end, but actually, you can do year end. Okay, it's up to you. Okay, after do year end, then it will go back to normal every year is a 12 month period then easy so that's why normally under two circumstances you need to do your end first thing is your first financial year is not 12 months and secondly is your transaction is too huge and the database is too heavy then you should do a year end so that's how you do a setting for non 12 month profit and loss statement okay so thank you for watching and once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.